Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve a cubic equation. So first, before you solve any cubic equation, make sure that the other side of the equation is zero. So if we have x cubed plus 2x squared minus 11x equals 12, you have to transform this cubic equation into an equation where the other side is zero. So that's simply, that is simply minus 12 equal to 0. Now, once the equation is already equal to 0, you have to try some numbers on x in such a way that the, it will satisfy or it will make the expression equal to 0. But, but to minimize the options of the numbers that you are going to use, we can apply the rational root theorem. Rational root theorem. So I'm not going to give the formal statement of this theorem, but I'll just give you the idea on how to apply it. So what you can do is to pick the constant number, so that's 12. You consider that as the p and the coefficient of x cubed, which is 1. So this is where we're going to get the values of b and q. p and q are simply the numbers that are factors of 12 and 1 respectively. So for p, the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. The factors of q, the factors of 1, is simply 1. So after getting the values of b and q, you need to determine all the possible values of b over q. But since q is just 1, so 1 divided by 1 is 1, 2 divided by 1 is 2, 3 divided by 1 is 3, 4 divided by 1 is 4, and then you have 6, and then you have 12. Okay? So you have to get all the p over q. Now, after getting all the p over q, these are the numbers that you can try on the x. Once, that, once a number makes this expression on the left side equal to 0, then that can be a possible factor, or that can, uh, we can use that to identify the factor of the equation. So to continue... So we have, so we can try with the smallest number, so 1. So by the way, you have to include the plus and minus, so all the positive and all the negative values of these numbers. So let's start with 1. So we try if p of 1 will become 0. So if this is 1, so look at the equation. If this is 1, so that's 1 cubed times 1, so 1 and then 1 squared is 1 times 2, so plus 2. 11 times 1 is 11 minus 12. And let's see if this will become 0. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 minus 11 minus 12 is definitely not equal to 0. So since it didn't work for 1, we have to try another number. So before we go to 2, maybe we can try negative 1. So let's copy first. So let's make this smaller. Okay, so the polynomial is x cubed plus 2x squared minus 11x minus 12 is equal to 0. So let's try p of negative 1. So p of negative 1 is negative 1 cubed plus 2 times negative 1 squared minus 11 times negative 1 minus 12. So we hope that this will become 0. Negative 1 cubed is negative 1 plus 2 times negative 1 squared means square the negative 1 first so positive 1 times 2 is positive 2. Negative 11 times negative 1 is positive 11. 
and minus 12. Negative 1 plus 2 is positive 1. Plus 11 is 12. And then you have minus 12. So this is equal to 0. So since the value b of negative 1 is 0, then we can get a factor out from negative 1. So that means, since p of negative 1 work, so since x equals negative 1 made the polynomial equal to 0, then we can say that x plus 1 is a factor of the polynomial. So since it is a factor, then x cubed plus 2x squared minus 11x minus 12 can be written as x plus 1 plus another factor. So how do we get this other factor? You can get that by dividing this polynomial by x plus 1. So you have x cubed plus 2x squared minus 11x minus 12. You divide it by x plus 1. So to get x cubed, we have x squared times x, x cubed, x squared times 1 is x squared, then you subtract, so this will become 0, 2 minus 1 is 1x squared, bring down 11x and 12. To get x squared, you need plus x, so you have x squared minus so x times 1 is positive x so plus x. Then you subtract again. Then you continue dividing. So you have, so first this is, so minus, so this is 0. Negative 11 minus 1 is negative 12x. And then bring down 12. To get negative 12x, you need to multiply this by negative 12. So negative 12 times x is negative 12x. Negative 12 times 1 is negative 12. And this is 0. So a while ago, so we have this uh, x plus 1 times some expression. So that means We now have x cubed plus 2x squared minus 11x minus 12 is actually the same as x plus 1 times the other factor x squared plus x minus 12. So this second factor came from dividing x cubed plus 2x squared minus 11x minus 12 by x plus 1. This is the result. So now that you have this uh, factored form, it is now easy to get the other factors. So simply factor x squared plus x minus 12. So you have x, and this is x. I can have 4 and 3. I think that's the right combination. You need negative 12, so 4 times negative 3. And then you need positive x, so this must be 4x. And negative 3x will give you positive x. So, since what we want to solve is x squared, uh, x cubed plus 2x squared minus 11x minus 12, so we're looking for x that will make it 0, then we can now change this into its factored form, x plus 1 times x plus 4 times x minus 3, and then equal to 0. With this, we know that x plus 1 has to be 0, x plus 4 has to be 0, and x minus 3 has to be 0. And then finally, to get all the values of x, we have from x plus 1 equal to 0, means x is equal to negative 1. From x plus 4 equal to 0, it means x is equal to negative 4. From x minus 3 equal to 0, that means x is equal to 3. So the values of x that will make the equation true, it means it equals, it's equal to 0, or x equals negative 1, x equals negative 4, and x equals 3. Okay, so it seems like it's a very 
very long solution but just to give you the idea what we want to solve is this equation the idea is to break this down into its factored form and it will be a long way you have to get the p you have to get the q then you have to get the p over q and then one by one you try what will work if you're lucky enough to get the the number right away then that will make it easier for you to solve the equation okay so, okay so if if you find the solution quite long so i, I suggest you watch the video again from the beginning so that you can get the solution okay so that's it